Can I just firstly start with the, the news in the last day or so about the solidarity the Albion is showing with the away kits for both the men and the women. So you'll be wearing the yellow and blue at Aston Villa on Sunday. I just wondered what that meant to you, that, that decision, and, and how proud you are of the club of, of, of making the decision taking the stance. Um, yeah, really, really proud. It's... Uh... Yeah, it's not nice what what's happening in the world to those people, innocent people. Um, so it's all it's all quite disturbing when you think about it. So that's partly in my, in my head. I listen to it every morning on on the way in and feel really really upset for those people. I've been to Ukraine. I know some Ukrainian people. Um, so the fact that the club are, you know, I guess uh, in solidarity. Um, the fact that we're wearing, you know, their colours, the fact that we're, I believe, selling the sh any shirt sales of that kit is going to the Red Cross to, you know, help those people. I, I think it's testimony to, to this club and what they try to do. As you say, it's hard for everyone to, to, yeah. to watch, but as professional athletes and coaches as you are, I mean, how, is, how does it feel seeing other professionals deny the chance to play, suspended, banned? Some Ukrainians hope even returning home to pick up a gun, for goodness sake. Yeah, well, I'm not a politician. I just think the whole the, the whole thing around war in, you know... Yeah, it's, it's just distressing, not nice. Not nice for those people, not nice for their families, um, not nice for anybody that, that's close to it. Uh, you know, I think it's been said before, we're in a very, very privileged position. It doesn't affect us. We can get on with our daily lives, so... Yeah, it's, it's it's just distressing for those people. And if there's anything that, that we as a club, as human beings, can do to support those innocent people, then I think certainly as a club we're doing the right thing. And I guess it says a lot, doesn't it, about the power of sport to, to be able to send this message. We've seen that a few times over the last few days and we'll see it again this weekend with, with you and, and the Albion men. Yeah, absolutely. Um, sport, very powerful. Um, can bring people together. We know it can divide people as well. Um, but in this instance, it certainly is bringing people together. Um, and that's really good to see. It's been a three week break since that brilliant Reading win. Mm. Has that been a, a welcome period of time or, or frustrating perhaps after finally winning and winning so comfortably and so well? Yeah, I get asked this a lot about international break, the timing of it. I think it is what it is. You, you know, we know the break's coming regardless. So. Um, I think it's just about adapting and just getting on with it. I think the nice thing going into a break is if, you'd, if you've had success, it makes that, that break feel even more special when you haven't had success of being on both ends of it. You, you can't wait for everybody to get back and get going again. So for us, it, it was really good result against Reading. It made that break a lot a lot easier. It, it means when people, players go away and they come back, that's the, get, the last game they remember. Very positive. Um, and we, we just hope to build on that for Saturday's game. Well, well, indeed, you and I spoke before the Reading game about how these next few weeks could define which direction the season goes. So I imagine you're hoping this weekend you maintain that upward direction following the Reading win, back yeah. up the table. Yeah, I think it shows what we can do when we're um, at the races, everybody's doing their job, everybody's doing what they've been asked to do. I think we did that very well against Reading. Arguably, it's the best we've played. I think one of the things that we've really lacked this season is the consistency. You, you know, we lose the week before quite badly. We come back very strongly. We lose to Leicester. We come back strongly against Chelsea. So we're just trying to build on those, the, the positives and, and getting that consistency into our play. And I think if we do that um, and perform certainly like we did against Reading, we give ourselves a best chance of, of getting points on the ball, but it is all about the players, you know, taking ownership, taking responsibility and delivering. Of course, you, you want to win at the weekend, but also keeping Villa below you, keep keeping the place in the table where you are and hopefully climbing up a bit more is, is, is in your back of your mind, I would imagine. Yeah, the idea for everyone, Villa, Villa also, is to win the game and pick up points. That's the nature of it. And... We'll be trying to do that as well on, on Saturday, as they will. So we firmly recognise it's going to be a tough game. 
finally for me, they, they play tonight then. They, so will they be fresher or, or less rested? I mean, will they be so sharper or, or less rested? I guess you there's, know. Yeah, there's enough days to, to recover from it. Um, you know, I think it, if you're playing midweek and you've got another big game at the weekend, it is about keeping players fit and healthy. So for them, I'm sure, as for Everton, they want to make sure that they've got uh, pick-up points tonight and, and the ability to go again at the weekend to try and pick up points again. So it's just about managing, um, I guess, loading. It's the recovery in preparation for the next game. Thank you and good luck at the weekend Thank and you. well done with the message. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Tim. Juliet. More have appeared. More people. Hello there. Here. Hi. Hope Hello. Can you hear me OK? Yes, I can hear you from the car. Well, I'm in the rather glamorous uh, location of Tesco Car Park. Oh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoever said television uh, wasn't glamorous, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, look, good to see you. Um, you. Talking about um, everyone being fit and healthy, how are the squad going into this weekend? Yeah, a few niggles, I must say. Um, yeah, a bit of sticky tape on, on some players, but that's the norm this time of year. Um, but they're in really good spirits. I think that the last win has really helped that. Um, they had a few summer had a few days off over international break, so they're they're raring to go again. More important thing that you you know, in good spirits, generally fit and healthy. Just a few niggles, which are which are normal. Talking about that last win, I mean, it was an incredible boost for the mm. side. Um, it came off the back of a four 0 defeat to Tottenham. You've had those patterns before where mm. you've had a real crushing defeat and then bounced right back mm. to a really positive, emphatic win. What is it about this squad that seems to respond so well after a really tough defeat? This pattern has, has, has happened before, but so what are you saying to the squad? What are they saying to themselves when they hit a real low point? Um, I think it's about um, very honest conversations. Um, that's generally what happens. I, I don't like the fact that we, we keep doing that. You know, that, that, that tells me the consistency that we were really trying to work towards at the beginning of the season isn't quite there. Um, but it is the honest conversations. The, the, the conversations from the players are very honest, very, very honest. They take full, I think the, the main thing is they, the honest conversations, but then they take responsibility for it. They hold their hands up. Um, they work that much harder to prove a point, and then we turn it round. It, it, it's the I don't mind that. It's the bit after. It's having the the ability to go again. We we shouldn't be going, you know, hitting a high and then hitting a dramatic low. And that is the the challenge. And that's something we're trying to work on that consistency and. You know, making sure that that we don't rest on our laurels, um, because when we do that, we we can't. And it's not deliberate. It's not deliberate. You tend to to relax a bit a bit when you're in a good space, and I think sometimes that's your undoing. So we have to make sure that in that space where we've done well and we're quite relaxed and together, that we we still demand a little bit more from ourselves going into the next game. And that's what we've been been trying to do. Hasn't quite worked, but definitely it worked for the Reading game. We just need to build on it. And I know Villa will be fighting for the points as well this weekend. How important is it to you to bag this win and push back up, back up the table where you saw uh, yourselves comfortably at uh, at the start of the season? Yeah, I think, you know, everybody goes into the game wanting to win. We're no different. Villa are no different. All the games over the weekend, everybody wants to pick up points. Um, you know, we're, we'll be the same on Saturday. We'll be going, f trying to win the game. For me, generally, if we perform well, we get something out of it. And that's the most important thing. So we've, we've got to match them. We've got to match them in all areas of the pitch. They're very strong. They've added some depth with uh, Jill Scott, very experienced, full of running. We've got to match that. And we've just got to match it from minute one to minute 90 plus. We do that, we give ourselves the best possible chance. So, just one final one from me. I spoke to Paul Barber this morning mm -hmm. about 
uh, the decision by the club to wear the third kit this weekend, the yellow and blue, the colours of Ukraine. How important was it to you to present this united front, the men's and the women's top tier sides this weekend wearing those colours? How important was that to you and the players? Yeah, really important. I think it shows that uh, the club cares. Um, there's some real compassion for what's going on in the world. Um, and I believe that, that any of those shirts, those colours that are sold will go to uh, the Red Cross to help those people that are struggling. So it's really, really important. And I think it's a fantastic gesture from the club.